doing. Um, we'll do uh, black glitter. Uh, go into the images. Once you go into the images, of course, you get all this beautiful stuff that pull up. Uh, you can take off pretty much anyone that you want from this at this point uh, because we're just going to be using it as a background. Let me blow this up a little bit. Um, and I just random. It doesn't matter. I will use. Um, let's use. Let's use. I like eh, with that one. Let me do it. I doubt it. But we'll see. And even if you, yeah, you can. I think it allowed me to pull it over. This is hers. Um, I don't mean any disrespect by taking her photo. But what I do is I just take the photo and I drag it off and I save it to my desktop. Once again, I don't mean any disrespect to this lady. I don't know who this lady is. But I would definitely go back and I would donate a dollar because I did use her name. Um, hi, Bridget. So but I just took this image here, which was just this black glitter, and I drug it off and I saved it to my desktop. Now, if you have a PC, you might have to right click and you have to save it because this is just the background that we're going to be doing. Hey, Keish, Don. Uh, now that we've got our background, we're going to go back over to Google and we're going to look for uh, the Louis Vuitton as far as what color we want the Louis Vuitton in. Uh, we will use a colorful background because I do see a lot of people who use that the multicolor when it comes to Louis Vuitton. Uh, the multi-color one, but it's all individually. But on this one, we're just going to play with it just for us to come up with whatever it is that we need. So what we're going to play with is we got the images open. Let's use this one. I like this one. This one is no more than just a water back, a watercolor background. So I'm going to take that image and I'm just going to save it to my desktop, just like that. Just take it from the computer and save it to my desktop, rather you right click it or whatever it is. It's just like saving a photo is all that we're gonna be doing. So once you get that photo saved, uh-oh, we will go to, sorry, we will go to Design Space, which is what I use. I like it, it works for me. I'll actually tell you how to take it from Design Space and save it to your desktop. You can print it from your desktop also. No, I don't have that offline downloaded yet, but for you guys that want to do the offline download, now is the best time to do it. I haven't tried, I haven't played with it. For those that don't have Design Space, Design Space is absolutely free. Just download, uh, uh, Design Space, just like that, go to the Cricut website and just download it. It doesn't charge you anything. Um, I've taken my, for people who's used to Cricut, I've taken the grids off mine, but for its sake, I guess we'll put the grids up so you guys can see it, but I personally don't like to work with the grids. So I just want to let you see that it was pretty much the same, um, design space that we're going to be using. So what we're going to do at this point is we're going to upload those photos into design space that we were just using by just doing a drag and drop. I always do mine on a complex because if you do it on the simple and end up breaking down and diluting some of the colors, if you do it on the moderately complex, it doesn't give you all the details, but if you do it in complex, it gives you all the details. It gives you the color, it gives you everything you're going to be looking on. So we're going to save it as complex and we'll continue through. We're not going to do any kind of adjustments or anything like that because we want pretty much just this background. So we'll continue through on that. Now you have two ways that you can save it. It gives you an option to, on the left hand side to save and print then cut the image and then on the right hand side it gives you an option to save and cut the image you always want to make sure that you save it on this option especially when it comes to a printing cut or if that's what you're trying to do a printing cut because if not the only thing that it'll upload is just this square and we don't want the square so we'll save it and while it's saving we're going to go ahead and upload our second color back into it now the louis vuitton i've already went ahead and created that one um, I have a screenshot of it. If you want it, I can definitely send that over to you. But we're going to go ahead and upload our second one into it, which was the color that our Louis Vuitton is going to be. Of course, we're going to save it as a complex. We're just going to send it through, uh, save it. It's got this watermark in it, but the watermark doesn't really matter because this is just for show. Of course, you're going to pay attention to whatever it is you're doing for the ones you want to save. And we're going to save it as a print then cut image, and we'll save that. <clears throat> All right, so now that we have it in there, I'm gonna just cancel. I'm gonna go back to my screen because I think my Louis Vuitton was actually a project that I was working on. So I'll pull up my Louis Vuitton project that I was working on, which is here. If you don't have these, we had them in the, uh, I tried to share just this file, but it wouldn't allow me to share to people were having problems with it. But we went ahead and we screenshot and we just uploaded into the website. So if you need this, this is already on 
uh, the Crafted Couples page. So we'll go into Customize. My computer always bogs down the later in the night that it gets. Okay, so I this is one that I've pre-created, I've already created. Um, so this is just pretty much what the Louis Vuitton is looking like. Now, if you're going to be making a cup, or if you're going to be making a tumbler, whatever the case it is, this is what you would use as a printing cut, just to cut them, just to put them on your cup. You can change colors of these if you want to, just by going up to the line type up here, clicking on that square and changing colors to whatever color you want to print it on. Whether you, but if you're doing vinyl, it really doesn't matter because, of course, um, whatever color vinyl you put in is the color that you're going to get. So we'll just keep this gray for gray sake. Um, and we're going to upload the two images that we had. I'm going to upload them both together with a PC. If you hold command, you can upload multiple pictures at the same time, or I don't know how it works. I mean, if you have a Mac on the PC, I'm not sure exactly how it works on the PC. So I'm going to upload my two colors that we just downloaded from Google into design space that we paid absolutely no money for because primarily all we want is just the color of it. We're not going to actually be using the images itself. We're just going to be using the color. And if you see these two little marks over here, these two little marks over here tell you that your image is too big and it's not going to cut in design space or it's not going to print in design space because your image is too big. But as of right now, it doesn't matter because we're not even going to be cutting in design space. So it's irrelevant. But I'm going to downsize these just a hair bit so I can see what I'm working with. All right. So it looks like we got it how we want it. So now because this black is going to be our background, we're really not going to do anything to the black because we're going to be subbing this and we want the back of it to be black. On the PC, you just click both images. There you go. Thanks, Robin. Uh, it's been a while since I've been on the PC. So this black, I'm going to just drag this black off to the side because we're not going to be using it as of right now. But we're definitely going to come back to it. But this right here is what's important, what we need. So because we have our Louis Vuitton in the background and we have the color on the top, what you want to do is you want to make sure that the color stretches over the Louis Vuitton or over your images. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring Louis Vuitton to the front here by arranging it and moving it to the front so we can see it. Well, I sent it forward, sent it to the front. So now that it's on the front, we have the image on top of the, or our Louis Vuitton cutouts on top of the color that we're going to be using. So what we're going to do is this colorful background that we have here, this colorful background is what we're going to be using for our Louis Vuitton. So I'm going to slice it by holding both of them together, and I'm going to slice it. Once you slice it, you're going to get the colors that were in the background, of course, with our gray Louis Vuitton. So with the gray Louis Vuitton, I'm going to hide that one because we're not going to be working with it. And if you just pull this one apart, you have your Louis Vuitton. I'm going to get rid of this one by hiding it. And now we have our Louis Vuitton in, in multiple colors, which, of course, is what we wanted because, of course, we're going to be subbing this. So now that we have that, we're going to go ahead and bring back our black glitter. We're going to bring back our black glitter, and we're going to size it up as good as we can when it comes to it. Make sure that there's not too much overlap. Now, if in the event you're working with Cricut and you're not a Cricut person, this is your first time working with Cricut, and when you try to bring the back, when you try to bring the black glitter background back, uh, and it is on top of it like that. Pretty much all you do is you click on the image. Once you click on the image, you go up to the top on the arrange, and you're going to send it to the back. Once you send it to the back, you get your Louis Vuitton colors up front. So at this point, what I do, because I don't have any grids or anything like that to the back, you can attach the two if you want. It's not a necessity that you have to attach the two because, of course, they just sit on top of each other with a PC you have to hit the Windows button. Once you hit the Windows button, you go up into the upper right-hand corner where it says Search, and you type in Snippet. Once you type in Snippet, then it'll allow you to screenshot just this image. But make sure you screenshot in a rectangular versus screenshotting in a uh, the whole screen. But with the PC, it is Command-Alt-4. And you want to try to get it as close as you can. You don't want to get too you don't want to get too much of the white off or out of the you want as much as the white out of the frame as you can. So once you screenshot it, it's gonna give you, I don't think you can see that. No, you can't because it's on a different screen. But once you screenshot it, it gives you um, 
just in the square of what you have there, which of course is what we want to go with. So if we're going to be subbing this, of course you can't print this inside of design space because for one, it's giving you your technical error over here on your right hand side, where if you were it, if you click on it, it'll tell you that your image is too large. You need to reduce your image to 6.75 inches by 9.25 inches or less in order to cut it, in order to make it print from design space. But of course, with the mouse pad that I was using on yesterday, it was a massive mouse pad. I think it was like a 13 by 13, no, a 12 by a 12 by 12 mouse pad. Some that I ordered by mistake. So those are the ones that I just used just to play around with. Uh, but once you screenshot it and you save it to the desktop, you can go straight over to your desktop and on a Mac, you can just click on it, go to file. Once you go to file, just scroll down and go to print. Once you go to print, choose whatever printer it is that you're going to be using or whatever printer it is you're going to be printing on. And, uh, you can just print it from there, but always make sure that whenever you're subbing that you flip it and mirror it. I'm going to go ahead and print this one off and I'm going to press this one. Unfortunately, you can't see it while I print and press because the way that my computer set up, it only allows me or it only allows you to just view just the screen. Hey, Irish, it only allows you to view just the screen, but I'll get it printed off and I'll press it. But for you guys that don't know how to print from Cricut, like I said, you're going to have to take a snippet or screenshot from design space from what you see here. And I typically just save it to my desktop and I print directly from my desktop. You can actually adjust the size from the desktop as far as how as far as how big you want it now for those that's good with uh gimp or uh, or photoshop or what paint or whatever the case it is you can always print from there but just to take it from design space i always take the grid top because if you try to screenshot with the grids in it if you try to screenshot with the grid in it, then you're going to end up getting the background of the screenshots in it. So just click on the three little lines that's up top. Click on settings. Once you go to settings, just take the grids out. And now you have no grids where you can screenshot it at this point. Save it to your desktop. Once you save it to your desktop, then you can print it from your desktop. Or you can print it from whatever other program that you're going to be printing from other than Cricut. Because Cricut only allows you to print so big. And I know that's a lot of hindrance for a lot of people. And a lot of people are like, oh, you know, I hate design space because I can't print no bigger than design space. What commands do you use for screenshot? On a Mac, it's Command Shift 4. The Command button, the Shift button, and the number 4. You hold all those together and then it give you the option to screenshot. See how it changed from an arrow to what you have here? And then you just pretty much right click and drag it and then automatically capture it, where it's captured it on my end, but you can't see that it's captured, but it's captured on my end. But that's how you <clears throat> screenshot it from a Mac. From a PC, you hit the little Windows buttons, it's down in your far left-hand corner. Uh, once you hit that button, then the window screen is gonna come up, you're gonna have a search bar in your upper right-hand corner. You click in the, uh, you put uh, snippet is what it's called on a PC. So just type in snippet, once you type in snippet and press enter, then another dialogue is gonna pop up and in that dialogue is gonna ask you what it is you wanna do. Do you wanna do a rectangle? You wanna do full screen? You wanna do freehand? Never do freehand when it comes to this and let you know exactly what you're gonna I always do mine in square, even if I'm gonna be printing it around, I always do mine in square because you always want it big enough uh, for whatever projects you're going to be working on, you always want to stretch it just a tad bit bigger. You never want to put it on point because if you try to size it to the exact size of what it is you're working with, especially if it's just going to be an all over print, uh, it's kind of like a full bleed when you're doing full bleed shirts. When you're doing a full bleed shirt, you never cut your image to the exact size of the shirt. You always uh, cut your image a little bit bigger. That way, when you lay the shirt onto it, um, if the shirt is a little bit bigger than what you expected, once you completely laid it out, you don't have to go back to the table and waste more ink if that makes sense. So unfortunately, I can't sub this for you right now, but I promise you I am, as we speak, I am printing it off and I'm gonna turn my press on and I'm gonna sub it. And then once I sub it, I will put it back into the group uh, for you to see it. The SNP feature is a blessing. It is a, a major blessing. But while this is, while my, um, while I'm working on getting this printed, if you have any questions about what we just talked about, it doesn't necessarily have to be specifically just this one or just this image. I mean, you can manipulate any color, any images, or whatever it is you want to do just by that same method that I just showed you. I know a lot of people at the end of the year, they work on, um, 
they work on uh, search for graduation and they want to know how they can get the photos inside of the numbers. This is the same way that you get photos inside of the numbers. You just put the pictures in design space. Once you pictures it, once you put the pictures in design space, find out what font you want. Once you get the font, then you just turn around and you uh, uh, slice it. Once you slice it, the image is going to come up in the numbers. If that makes sense, I can show you that really quick just by trying to get a text up. Um, let's go with a boom that work. So say if the person was graduating in 246 and these are images that you had on the background, you just pretty much take a snippet from it or take a slice from it. Um, and you've got your photo image in the background. So just pretend that, that glitter was supposed to be pictures. How large do your subs print? I have the 13 by 19, so I can go up to a 13 by 19. Uh, the Louis Vuitton file is saved in the group. Uh, my wife uh, actually saved it into the group. Um, it's somewhere down there. I'll see if I can get somebody to go back down into it in order to pull it back up. But if you just search uh, Kristen Moore, you'd be able to find it. Do we have any other questions beforehand or before I hop off? I do want to let you guys know that we are having a Black Friday sale. So please stay tuned for our Black Friday sale. And we are going to be giving away a um, the best of.